so hello guys today i will talk about very important topic in selenium like till today what we have seen is we have lot of plugins which will give us the xpath which will give us the css in firefox but we have very less plugins which will give uh, xpath and css in case of a uh, chrome actually actually we in fact we don't have uh, only what we have in chrome is uh, when we are able to write the xpath the xpath we can test that xpath but to get that xpath to get the css in the chrome browser we don't have right so uh, i have discovered one plugin which is very useful and which is very good which will give you the xpath and css for object in the selenium and with this the scripting is going to be very fast like you can get the object very easily and you can do your coding before to start this is brief about me i am from mechanical engineering background i come from jappalpur bihar and i work as a software engineer this is my youtube channel so if you subscribe my channel you don't have to worry for when i make a video when i don't make because the moment i will update uh, upload the video you will get the notifications and my facebook page so if you like my facebook page you will get all the notifications and all the video which i upload to the youtube uh, generally i keep a link to my facebook page so that it is very easy for the uh, users to you know very easy, easy for the students to to study it so it's it's good to like my facebook page it's good to subscribe my youtube channel all right now what i will do is <clears throat> i'll show you how to work with uh a plugins in chrome that will give us the xpath in case of chrome right so there is one add ons called in kerio ui spy in kerio ui spy basically this is a plugin made for chrome which will give you the xpath and css path when you are writing a object in case of chrome right so this is very very important now just type this in kerio ui spy click on search so the moment you click on search you will get in kerio ui spy chrome web store google click on this okay click on this and click on add to chrome so before that you make sure that you are logged in with your gmail account right you are logged in with your gmail account then click on add extension right click on add extension so it will take some time and this extension will get added to your browser so here saying that in kerio ui spy has been added to chrome so it has been added now after adding that what you have to do is you click on this dot 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 symbol go to the setting okay type here pop pop and click on content setting in the content setting go down make sure that this checkbox is enabled allow all sites to so pop up make sure that this is enabled so if it is disabled this enable it click on done once this is done what you can do is close this okay uh, refresh this facebook login browser because i will show you how to locate the object i just refreshed my browser now right click on the browser click on inspect so if you click on right click on the browser right click on inspect you can see that here in kerio ui spy this is the one in kerio ui spy here it says that right click on any element to spy now i want to get the object of this this text box right so just do a right click the moment you will do a right click this you know pop up will open the moment you will do a right click this pop up will open so here you just write email email click on okay see here the xpath will get generated the xpath will get generated you copy this xpath you copy this xpath and use in your code again for the password right click on this right here p a w s w o r d password click on ok see password for the password it got generated for the login right click on this right click on this ok right here login click on ok see for the login xpath is generated right mm -hmm. but again the xpath generated by this tool will not be 100% reliable right will not be 100% reliable right so better what you can do is the moment this generates the xpath better 
यू टेस्ट दिस सेक्स पाथ बेटर यू टेस्ट दिस सेक्स पाथ ओके नॉट ऑलवेज रिलाई ऑन दिस एक्स पाथ नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू गेट द एक्स पाथ फॉर द फर्स्ट नेम आई विल राइट क्लिक ऑन दिस एंड आई विल राइट एफ आई आर एस टी फर्स्ट नेम नेम ओके आई विल राइट फर्स्ट नेम आई विल क्लिक ऑन ओके सी फॉर द फर्स्ट नेम दिस एक्स पाथ गॉट जनरेटेड नाउ आई विल टेस्ट माई एक्स पाथ सो कॉपी दिस एक्स पाथ ओके कॉपी दिस एक्स पाथ गो टू द कंसोल हियर राइट डॉलर ओके स्मॉल एक्स ब्राइकेट डबल कोट कंट्रोल वी एंड डबल कोट एंड दस जस्ट क्लिक ऑन इंटर वॉट हैपन समथिंग समथिंग डिसअपेयर्ड ओके अगेन आई विल ट्राई नॉट टू वरी कंट्रोल एक्स वाई इट इज गेटिंग डिसअपेयर्ड so this is happening it is getting disappeared my skip dot j is something is running in the background that is okay console dot clear actually this is the one which is running in the background and it is just disappearing it so better what i will do is um, i'll again do inspect Okay, I think this should have gone. Yeah, this should have gone. Go to the console, right? Dollar. Okay. So what I need to do is more to somewhere I have to disable that because that that is keep on uh, running. So what I can do is. It's running in my browser and it's clearing my console. Still, it is running. Fine, no issue. What I'll do here. Control F. Here also, I can paste my here down. Me, I can paste my expert control V, and see here. If I'll place mouse over here, first name is getting highlighted. If my place mouse over here, my first name is getting highlighted, and here it says that one of one, which means this object is unique. So I can rely on this object. I can work with this object. Again, let's say I want to get CSS selector. Again, right click on this and write. First name, click on OK. See, this is your CSS selector, right? Again, if you want to go to the surname, right click on that surname, click on OK, right? Again, if you want to get for the new password, right click on the right click on the new password and just write new password, click on OK. See, it is getting selected. Now, <coughs> what I will do is I will copy this. Again, I will to test that. What I will do is I will come here. I'll come to the elements. Okay, I'll clear this. I'll select this and I'll clear this, and then I'll paste this. See, it is getting highlighted. So if you place mouse over here, your new password uh, text box is getting highlighted, and here it says that one of one. Here it says that one of one, which means it is working, right? So I hope uh, this extension will ease your life, and you guys will. definitely will enjoy writing codes with the with the selenium right now again i'll go to the xpar and for this checkbox i want to get the xpar so i'll just you know i'll right click on this and i will just write female and i'll click on see here your your xpar is getting generated to test that but one problem here You can see that one problem here, right? What problem? What I am seeing here is, it says that matching nodes two, which means this X path is not unique. It is saying that matching nodes two, which means this X path is not unique. It has two matching nodes, right? It has two matching nodes. Now, whenever we we will get this kind of situations where matching nodes are more than one. what we have to do is we have to 
uh, go to the console not go to the elements click on this spy click on this radio button so type is equal to password right type is equal to password and no i think it's not showing to the correct on this one okay here here so radio name is equal to fax so type is equal to radio button and name but it is saying that it has two matching node now you can see that after that you have something called you know label called uh, female right so you have this this label female so you can use of this so how you can write xpath here is you can uh, since i cannot edit here so you can do one thing you can uh, uh, you can take the xpath of this that before i have written for radio button so i am taking for this so you can take this and you can take this xpath you copy this xpath you copy this xpath go to the element and what how you can write is go to the console and write dollar x double quote control v and then then you write a uh, preceding sibling and you write input right I'll better copy this x path and you hit enter it's clearing my console don't worry i can test here or i'll add one more plugin see it's getting highlighted so this is getting highlighted when i'll place mouse over here it is getting highlighted so when i used preceding siblings in input it is getting highlighted so guys for this preceding siblings following siblings i have already made one video okay so you can go through my video and you will understand what does mean by preceding and what does mean by following siblings so when you go to my channel this is my playlist this link i have already shared with you guys so you can see that here i have made sibling concepts in selenium right sibling concepts in selenium if you click on this you have preceding siblings in selenium following siblings in selenium sibling concepts in selenium with child and descendant concepts so this uh, this concept is very very you know important so you can better uh, go with this so how to go to this video is it's very simple what you can do is you can uh, browse this link youtube.com is just mr vanipata 29 slash play playlists you will get all my playlist all my videos then what you can do is you can search for sibling concepts in selenium click on this you will have all three videos right so hope you guys understood how to uh, use the uh, extension how to use make uh, how to make use of extension to get the x path in chrome right and to get the css path in chrome thank you for watching this please like my video please write down comments below my video if you have any problem if you have any doubt please subscribe my uh, youtube channel and like my facebook page so that you will get all the notifications right so you don't have to think when i'm making video when i'm uploading video right you'll be getting all the notifications thank you for watching this <clears throat>